Indian Lotus. Well, if you're anything like Caitlin Ogle and I, and you love sunny skies, you love highs in the 70s, you are going to love, love the forecast here for today. If you thought yesterday was nice, just wait till you see what I have in store for your Sunday. To get you ready for the latest here, we'll start you off with a time lapse. And as you look at the downtown Oklahoma City skyline, you can see a little bit of haze, a little bit of cloud coverage there. This is looking off to the west, and we still have some dense fog continuing here for some parts of the state. Cloudy skies here for some parts of Oklahoma, but we are starting to clear up pretty nice. A dense fog advisory continues until 11 a.m. here for central and western parts of the state. Here's a look at our visibility numbers. We're clearing out here for Oklahoma City, but still, dense fog across western parts of the state from Clinton, Weatherford, all the way up through northwestern parts of the state. Mostly clear skies here for Oklahoma City. We're now in the 60s. Dew points are in the upper 50s, so it is humid and it is calm. So whenever you get high humidity and low winds, you get that combination together. That's what produces dense fog, especially across western Oklahoma. Temperature wise, we have a mix of 50s and 60s. Now 61 for you folks joining us from Shawnee. Across the rest state, temperatures are ranging from the 40s, 50s, 60s, no 70s yet, but it's not going to take much longer. The good news is when you factor in the winds, not much of a wind chill here across the state, which is a good thing. And speaking of good things, the best thing I'm going to share with you all day is this right here. This is Sophie and Sophie here. She's available for adoption right now from Country Roads Animal Rescue. And we need to get this sweet girl right here a forever home. For the forecast today, if you are taking the pets outside, beautiful weather for everyone because I'm tracking clearing skies. Highs today will make it into the 70s once again, mid to upper 70s. We can even see some 80s for some parts of the state. Looks like we'll tap 73 for Ponca City, 77 today, the afternoon high in Stillwater. For Oklahoma City, it looks like we'll see highs in the mid 70s. Up to the northwest, looks like we'll get up to 74 for Kingfisher and Okarchi. Up to the northeast, looks like we'll get up to 78 for Davenport, 77 today, the afternoon high in Chandler on down the line here off to our southeast looks like we'll see highs getting up to 74 for Moore, 73 in Norman 76 today the afternoon high for Shawnee and Tecumseh and then off to our southwest highs will make it to the mid 70s 74 for Newcastle Bridge Creek 72 this afternoon feeling pretty nice down in Chickasha. As we head into this afternoon, winds will come up and it has been dry. So when you get that combination, that leads to very high to extreme fire danger conditions for today. For tonight, overnight lows will dip into the 40s across western Oklahoma, 50s and 60s here for central parts of the state. I just want to point out our average low for this time of year is supposed to be 41 degrees. We'll be almost 20 degrees above that here as we head into tonight and not much of a wind chill here for your early Monday and not much fog either. We'll see a clear, a much clearer start for your early Monday, but starting tomorrow afternoon, look at this highs in the 70s, 80s, possibly some 90s. So the warm up really starts to ramp up here for your Monday afternoon. But in the meantime, here for your Sunday, sunny skies, winds will be a little bit breezy. Highs today will make it to the mid 70s. And look at that sunset today is at 530. Too. I don't think I'm ready for that just no yet here way. because of that time change, but we're nice and refreshed here for your Sunday. 70s on Monday, 80s on Tuesday. A front on Wednesday is going to drop temperatures and bring us our next chance of rain on Thursday. But even though we will see a couple of rain chances, a couple of cold fronts, as you look at that seven day plus four more, the best news of all, looking at those numbers at the bottom, doesn't really look like we're going to see a chance of freezing temperatures here for Oklahoma City for at least the next seven days. So I'm just full of good news here for us for that seven day plus four more. Finally, Fun. it's been a while. Well, I, you know, I do what I can, I'm, you know, but hey, yes, as long as everybody likes me today, I'll take it. <laughs> Thank you, Damian.